Hi, it's Cheryl here today. Welcome back to Around the House with Cheryl. I'm here with another Dollar Tree haul, and um, I figured I'd go ahead and roll my hair up and show you what I got because I was on the road. So the first thing I got were these juicy juice. I got the fruit punch and the apple juice. I got two apples and oh, two apples and one fruit punch. I don't know why it keeps getting dark and light. But anyway, I picked up my normal sweet mate. That's 50 in a pack. I got two of those. You don't need to see two. And this is mostly food. I got emergency cream. This is the French vanilla. And it's always an emergency with cream, right? And then I got um, these Greta crackers with olive and oregano. They look good. I think I got some cheese, y'all. Cheese. And then these are the fudge stripe shortbread cookies. These are good. Um, I didn't tell my husband went to Dollar Tree. He picked up two packages. They ate one up already, so now we got two left. Those are good. They taste just as good as the Keeblers. And I, I, I've tried these before, and I think I hauled them and showed you before. These are the um, chocolate flavored drizzle butter toffee popcorn Spanish peanuts in micro mini. Oh, Micro mini pretzels. See? These are good. This is a good snack, especially if you like uh, chocolate. And this is um, four ounces. Four ounces. Um, then it expired September of this year. And it is made in Pennsylvania. So, I got two of those. And then I tried, picked up these uh, Baker's Harvest Cheese Crackers. I hope they taste like um, cheese. It's, it's a seven ounce box. And it is, oh, it's a product of Canada. I hope they taste like cheese. It's because some other ones I bought, they didn't taste good. So I ended up giving them to the birds. If the birds might like them today. If we try them out and they taste nasty. This was something I found and I forgot to show you all my last haul. Um, I guess a couple hauls ago. This is the chocolate fusion biscuits. I'm telling you, these taste exactly like they look on the box. It's milk chocolate. And they're made in New Hampshire. I found them on the bottom shelf. I don't know if somebody was trying to hide them so when they come back they could get them but too bad I got them and they were delicious I already ate one box and then I think that's all the food I picked up a um, couple cleaning things um well just tissues I guess I cleaned my nose and then I got the 1905 I got two of these vinegars because this is uh Stronger than the cleaning vinegar. The cleaning vinegar didn't do anything that I intended to use it for. So I'm going with the straight shot. And then I saw the Sure Fresh. It's a soup mug. Ooh, I'm sorry, I keep getting out of the light. Almost three cups. I got this for my husband. He could take soup with him to work. And the top comes off and clicks, so hopefully it will not leak. And then I got uh, these bags of six-piece bonus power clips bag chips. So it's got um, a couple big ones, medium and small in there. And I forgot, I got these for my grandson. He loves bubblegum. He don't know I got him. At least not yet until he, if he come in here. And then I got my staple buddies, nail guard sponges. 
six in a pack. I, I love these because you get them crusty and you throw them away. And then I picked up a cell phone case because I got another type of phone. And the cases I had didn't fit, but this is all I had. It's not great. The one I got on my phone now is orange and black. This green and black. Orange and black be good for Halloween. You know, I'm always thinking about Halloween and Christmas. I got about 95% of my Christmas stuff put away. Well, not according to the picture in the background. It's a snowman. But it says winter time, and it's still winter, so we'll leave them up there. And I got these moist wipes. It's uh, 20 in a pack. I'm going to use it for something I have electronic. And then I picked up a 2017 monthly planner. It's already um, a week or so into January, but I'll try to use it at least until February. <laughs> and then um, I already put something in here, but one of the things I want to do is start uh, decluttering and organize, organizing some stuff. And I think I got a good start uh, on some of my stuff up in my bonus room. It, it looked like hoarders up there. I may have to show you a picture of before and after I estimate. I give myself uh, maybe three to six months to get it the way I want it. I need some more crates. I only had like probably 12 or 15 Christmas crates I had to put away. That's why I just almost finished. I got a few more things here in the kitchen. But anyway, the last thing I picked up, oh, well, not the very last, but these um, clear, you can see, shoebox containers. I think they're for, what's well, this storage? But anyway, I thought they'd be perfect for the Legos. I have Legos back from the late 80s that I never gave away or got rid of because they're too expensive. But I figured I got six of those containers and I organized them by color so it'd be easy to see and then I have some little small containers that I got from the Dollar Tree for like dips and stuff and they're perfect for the real tiny pieces so I can't show you that right now because I already put them away and the last thing <coughs> that I got is this red laundry basket it's a small basket uh, if you watch one of my older videos I was organizing my laundry room with tin cans and some of the red containers and I've been waiting for the red laundry basket. They finally came out with it around Christmas so I picked up one used to put my dog's um, towels in that I used to dry them off when it's raining and wipe up any accidents on the floor. Um, I think that is all that I picked up this time and um, I, since I've been on a roll, I will be back shortly with uh, another haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. and I appreciate everybody for subscribing. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.